this is another example where how even the biggest brand, one of the biggest brands in the world is, 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 is unfortunately through probably no desire of their own involved in creating uh, fraud and, and creating a lack of faith in, in, in games in general. And, and there's no reason that the world needs to work this way because we now have technology that takes the, the capabilities of blockchains, expands it with the help of oracles like Chainlink to include something like randomness. And now systems like Avagachi and, and, and other NFTs that we work with can, can generate outcomes in games that are provably fair. Now, games might, might, might not seem uh, terribly important, but, but they are important to the people that, that participate in those games. Just like financial products are important to the people that participate in those, and insurance is important to the people that it, uh, it has a determining factor about their life for. And, and so there are all of these different categories where the capabilities of blockchains being extended by oracles with the decentralized services that we provide at Chainlink and the decentralized services that you now have access to opens up an entirely new world of what you can build. That world didn't exist two years ago. It didn't even exist a year ago the way it exists now. And as we release more and more various services, as we release more and more data, as we release more and more capabilities like randomness to prove that the outcome of a game was actually random and not something someone could manipulate, the more all of these services come to life and are offered to you, the more you can combine them in unique, um, amazing ways to bring trust and bring smart contracts to new, new corners of, of the world where they weren't previously useful.